This KDA Video Minute is brought to you by Tax Favored Benefits, the KDA's partner for wealth management and dental practice retirement strategies for you and your dental team. Contact Tim Geigels or Matt Crayer for more information. I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is the KDA Video Minute for Friday, April 29th. Well, we're coming off the KDA General Assembly and other meetings associated with the UMKC Midwest Dental Conference this last week. So first of all, it was fantastic to see so many of you for the first time really in a couple of years. So I uh, hope everyone had a great time. We had a nice turnout at our General Assembly meeting uh, on Friday afternoon. Now, remember on Friday afternoon, that's where we officially elected our, our new officers. Um, Dr. Rob Dakin became the president of the Kansas Dental Association. Dan Nielsen is now president-elect. Neely Newkirk was elected as the vice president. Um, Dr. Adam Lukens was elected treasurer and Kate Stanley was elected secretary. So those are your officers for 2022-2023. Then in addition to that, we awarded um, the Dentist of the Year and the Harry M. Clenda Award. And so those were awarded to Alan Rivas, who was our 2022 uh, Dentist of the Year, and Dr. Sean McReynolds is your 2022 Harry M. Clenda Award winner. We also had the privilege of awarding uh, or recognizing 116 new life members into the Kansas Dental Association. That's kind of an anomaly this year. Remember last year we changed our bylaws and we took out the age requirement to be a life member. So now it is uh, 30 years of consecutive membership. So we were able to recognize several of our, of our longtime KDA members this year. So congratulations to all our new life members. Also, during our meeting, we had three distinguished honorary guests from the American Dental Association, starting with ADA President Cesar Sabates, who was there, gave a, a nice uh, conversation and a nice uh, presentation during our annual meeting. Dr. Raymond Colmia, the Executive Director of the American Dental Association, and Dr. Terry Fiddler, who was our District 12 uh, trustee. Perhaps a highlight of the KDA's meetings at the Midwest Dental Conference was, of course, our 150th celebration. We had over 200 members and guests that attended that celebration. Uh, Dr. Sabates, again, with Dr. Raymond Comilla, attended that event and did a, uh, a nice toast for us, uh, honoring that, a uh, nice champagne toast. We cut some cake. Uh, we had a 150th timeline and a really fun uh, photo booth that a lot of members were able to participate in. Just really a great time as we celebrated really just 150 years of, of camaraderie, of organized dentistry in the state of Kansas. So for everyone that attended, again, we appreciate that for being involved in the Kansas Dental Association and your ongoing support of organized dentistry. Since we have not had a video minute for a while, of course, you all know that during the legislative session, the House and Senate just passed House Bill 2386, which had to do with network leasing and also with virtual credit card. That's again how you can receive payment and options for receiving payment from your dental insurance carriers that you work with, as well as then whether or not uh, that carrier has the ability to lease or lend or sell or whatever your agreement, uh, your name as part of a network uh, to another third company insurance carrier. Um, that passed. It, did, it was signed by the governor uh, earlier in April. Uh, we did send out a legislative alert on that, so hopefully you all saw that. That will go into effect on July 1. Now we've gotten some phone calls asking about well, how is that going to be implemented, how does that work. We're putting together some resource materials or at least some information as to how that will work. But effective July 1, you should be able to contact your dental insurance carrier and make sure that you have opted out of any network leasing if that's what you're, you desire to do. And or uh, if you're being paid in a, a way that has a fee uh, via virtual credit card, you should have the ability then at that point to receive a paper check or some other transaction that does not have a fee associated with it. So we'll be putting some information together to make that available to our members 
And uh, again, appreciate all your support and help in contacting legislators to push that uh, piece of legislation over the finish line and onto the governor's desk and now in state statute books. I want to finish up today. It's the end of April. So again, we're trying to wrap up our 2022 members. So if you haven't paid your dues yet, please, I ask you to, uh, to kind of get that taken care of, whether it's a, uh, a payment or your full, your full dues. So please try to get that wrapped up so we can get our membership databases all cleaned up and ready to go here in 2022. And um, with that, that wraps this edition of the KDA Video Minute.